Okay, so I airbrushed it uh, red, as you can see here. Now I'm not 100% um, sure how this looks again on the camera, but uh, here's kind of what I did. I'll do a couple things different uh, next time. So I did a combination of this uh, mahogany and the um, fire red as the base. <clears throat> that was the first thing. And you probably can tell underneath, whoops, underneath here that it's quite light, com or dark I should say, compared to uh, the rest. Then what I did, and I'm still learning on how to uh, use my airbrush properly here, I went with a straight uh, fire red. After I did that, I used a combination of the red just to tone it down and it just wasn't uh, giving the effect I want. So then I add a bit of, uh, where is it, orange to the fire red and then went over it with a bit of this. So. I probably should have used some white and then uh, to get a, a brighter red but uh, this will do for me for now like it turned out uh, not too bad uh, practices uh, how you get better and so here's the canopy and then I'm going to uh, decide what I'm going to do with this I believe I'm going to do it in gold but uh, not quite sure and the other thing that uh, I uh, experienced with this is it's so much better not to glue any of the legs on. I'll never, the next one I do, I'm never going to uh, <clears throat> glue all this together. I'm actually going to spray all the paneling after, or before I glue it together. <clears throat> it's way too hard to try and airbrush and get in all the little crevices. It's just not uh, not the way to go go with it. So, anyways, but once I get um, the other color in, I think it'll look. Uh, I think it'll look just fine. But anyways, there you have it. I haven't done any of the weapons yet or anything else under there, it's still primed. So, uh, yeah, we'll go with that and then uh, see uh, how it turns out.